In this video we're going to introduce earliest start time and latest start time. So we'll start by talking about earliest start time. Here we have three tradies and they're going to help build a bathroom. So the first tradie to come in is the plumber. No one else can really start until the plumber has laid the piping. And the plumber is going to take about five hours to complete this job. So we'll call this activity A and we'll give it a weight of five for five hours. Then we have our waterproofer and the waterproofer is kind of like a painter except they paint this waterproof membrane on the walls and on the floor. Let's call this job activity B. It's going to take the waterproofer about three hours to paint the waterproofing membrane, but it's also going to take about 24 hours for the waterproofing to dry. So 3 plus 24 gives us a weight of 27 for our activity. And finally we have our tiler. So we'll call this activity activity C and we haven't been given a time for the tiling to complete, but that's okay. We don't need that right now. Alright, so now we'll talk about earliest start time. The plumber can start straight away. So if we were calculating the earliest start time or EST for the plumber, it would be zero, meaning the plumber can start straight away. The waterproofer can't start until the plumber has completed their job. Now that job takes five hours. So the earliest start time for the waterproofer is five, meaning five hours after the project first started. Now we come to the tiler who needs to wait for both the plumber and the waterproofer. So the plumber takes five hours and the waterproofer takes 27. When you add them up, you get 32. So the earliest start time for the tiler is 32, meaning that the tiler has to wait 32 hours from the start of the project before they can get into their job. So why do we need to know the earliest start time for each tradie? Well, if a builder was booking all of these tradespeople to come in, they need to know the earliest start time to make sure that they come at an appropriate time. You don't want to book the tiler in when the waterproofing membrane hasn't dried yet. Otherwise they can't start their job and they're going to charge you for doing nothing. Let's now move on to latest start time. So here we've got a plumber and a concreter. Now the concreter can't lay the concrete till the plumber has laid the plumbing. And we know that the concreter is going to come at 1 o'clock or 1 p.m. We also know that the plumber is going to take three hours to complete their job. So we'll call this activity A and give it a weight of three. So let's just think about this. What is the latest start time for the plumber? Well, the latest start time or the LST is going to be 10 o'clock or 10 a.m. By starting at 10 a.m., the plumber will complete his job right on 1 p.m., just in time for the concreter to come. So when a builder needs to book in a tradesperson, let's say they want to book in a plumber, they will look at the earliest start time and the latest start time. They might find that the earliest start time for the plumber is 8 a.m. and the latest start time for the plumber is 10 a.m. So when they call to schedule the plumber, they can say, you can come at any time between 8 and 10 a.m., but make sure that you don't come after 10 o'clock or you're going to hold up the next tradesperson. And they might also say, make sure you don't come before 8 a.m. because there's another job that needs to be completed before you come. Anyway, that concludes this video just introducing earliest start time and latest start time. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.